Hey guys, so next we are going to do Eric. Eric has been really lucky recently, I believe. So, let's grab a fat pack and let's go ahead and do Eric. Next Patreon thing, we still have Innistrad, we have Oath, we have Battle, no, we, I don't know if we have Battle, but we definitely have Dragon Maze. In case someone wants to, wants to do Dragon Maze, we have that set because we always have that set. And so this is Eric, and hopefully Eric does as well as Bobby. I think Bobby did pretty well. But I'm also hoping to see an Arlen, because I feel like Arlen is just tremendous value, because he's actually, or an Avacyn actually. Forget Arlen, we're gonna, we want, we want Avacyn. Avacyn, Avacyn, oops. So this is for Eric, and then next we have someone new, Jeremy. So here we go. I believe Jeremy lives not in the US. Eric lives in Texas. So the shipping, okay, that's, that's, no, that's not what we wanted. I felt that was the, I was like, oh, Sofa Falls, $20 card, but nope. All right, I mean, there's only a few cards that can really get up there. Definitely, T I mean, T-I-T-I, -T -I, if we get another one of those, that would be great. Ooh. Violet doesn't look so good in this picture. We will not fight for Avison, but for her ideals. Not for the church, but for its people. Kind of reminds me of that show, which I love. Uh, what was that show? Ooh, this is a... Why, why do we have two of these? What the hell? Oh, and we have an emblem. Nice. We have Startled Awake. Oh, if you get like a rare or a mythic... Duh. Okay, I understand what happens. If you get a rare or mythic flip card, then you also get a regular flip card that's not rare or mythic. So this card is very good. And then Start Awake is kind of a nice bonus. Will it be... I think eventually it'll be valuable because I look at every single mill card and every single mill card is valuable. Eventually. People just like mill. And then obviously our... So we had a mythic, a really good uncommon, and then a rare... Um, which is less valuable than our uncommon, I believe. I think Air of Falcon Wrath, very, very powerful. Oh yeah, the devil was a part-timer. It, it just reminds me a lot of that storyline from that one season. It's on Netflix. I would highly recommend. Okay, this is our Dreadnought, Dreadnight. Ooh, we have a foil. It's a very creepy foil. Twins of... Well, it's not a flip card. Alright, we have six packs left. We've had one mythic. And yeah, one mythic and one foil. So let's hope we get like another mythic. I think we'll do for another mythic. Because that mythic doesn't really count. Keep, oh, 2D Slaughter. Target player sacrifices a creature or planeswalker. That's pretty good. If there are four more cards, then they sacrifice a creature and a planeswalker. That's might see play. Depends on how many planeswalkers there are in standard. I mean, there's that one guy called Jace, and he's kind of being played. So it's a two for one at instant speed. How pack? Okay, this is not bad. Oh, another. I love that card. It just reminds me of Delver. Four packs left, we have one Mythic, and we haven't really found anything of tremendous value, so we need another Mythic to help us. Another Mythic that is not a bad one. Here we go, Deadweight. Really glad, I thought that was an uncommon, but it's a common. Uh, what is this? Delirium, it has double strike. Oh, nice. Well, <laughs> this has certainly been a very interesting pack. I don't know what the probability of getting an entire playset of Era of Falcon Wrath is, but I would imagine it's quite low, but let's do it. Let's get a foil one. That is definitely one flip card. I am not unhappy. Drown Temple, Village Messenger, and oh, what is going on? Another Stardust Awake. Uh, so we've 
I don't know what the value of this card is, but I feel like it is eventually going to be quite valuable because people like milling and mill cards. What? This has actually been a lot of repetition in these packs. Like, I don't know what it is, but we've just, these fat packs have a lot of repetition. Burn from within. Oh, uh, we have a, what is the, what is this? Sacrifice it, look for your basic plan. Okay, I mean, it's not bad, it is a foil. And we have our last pack. <laughs> this has been, I, I hope we get another Startled Awake and a Air of Falcon Wrath, and then like a Jace. All right, let's slow roll this. We're gonna slow roll. We're gonna roll one of the best cards. Oh, this card I like a lot too. Okay, Uncommon 1. Uncommon two. It is green. There are no good green. Uh, it, it's what the. It is a Hydra. <laughs> uh, so we have. Well, I mean, one out three packs is a mythic. I don't think you can do better than that. Reach its power and toughness is equal to the number of land you control. That's good. Whenever it enters the battlefield, you can look for land and then put it on it. So it becomes a seven-seven of reach as soon as you play it, which is not bad. All right, definitely, Eric. This is one of the most interesting fat packs. I don't know if it's good. Or, I don't. I mean, it really depends on how much this card is worth. Start awake one. Falcon Rat. I think these are like a dollar two. They're very good. Start awake two. Hydro one. Burn from within. Drown. Wolf. Oh, okay. This is not bad. This is probably you know, worth some money. Twins. And a emblem. So. Overall, I would say, I, I don't know. It depends on how much this card's worth. <laughs> anyway, thanks a lot, Eric. Bye.